Welcome to this new video from Urbest Instruments. We will show the electronic components and the sensors necessary to perform balancing on our machines or independently, on site. First, we will see the case where all the elements are included. Then we will test our sensors on a computer with the Digivibe software previously installed and finally how to install these elements on the balancing machine. In the Urbest Instruments case, you will find the following, three cables to connect the sensors to the interface and one cable to connect the interface to the tablet, laptop or PC. One data acquisition for channel interface, two accelerometers, one tachometer, one reflective tape, one USB key with Digivibe software with a license for three permanent installations and additional content, one magnetic base for the tachometer. And as an optional accessory, a Surface tablet with a shockproof case and a stylus that will help us to better handle the software. We will now test our sensors, but before we will connect them as follows, we first connect the cable with the silver connector to the op input of the interface and on the other side, we connect the tachometer. We are now going to connect one of the cables with the black mill connector on port 2 of the interface, and on the other side one of the accelerometers. This corresponds to plane 2 of the balancing machine. Then we continue with the second cable with black mill connector at port 1 with the second accelerometer at the other end. This corresponds to plane 1 of the balancing machine. Finally, we connect our interface to a USB port on our computer. To get started, we need to launch the Digivibe software included in the USB drive, which must be installed on the computer or Surface tablet beforehand. Now, in the software, we are going to open a new balancing and we are going to use the method of influence coefficients with simultaneous planes and we press OK. We click on the blue arrow pointing down on the right to enlarge the time signal window, so it's displayed at full screen. Now we are going to open the tachometer indicator. We will check its operation by passing the reflective tape in front of the laser and we will observe that behind our sensor are blue LED lights up and on the screen. We will see how the values change. Now we press the real-time record button and test our first accelerometer by shaking it up and down. The signal color for channel 1 is blue. Then our second accelerometer by moving it in the same way. The signal color for channel 2 is green. We will start the installation of our electronics by placing our first accelerometer. In this case on the left pedestal. We will connect the cable with the green mark on it. It does not matter what cable color we use as long as channel 1 corresponds to pedestal 1. We place the magnetic base and proceed to put our tachometer on the base arm and connect its respective cable, the cable with the yellow mark. Later we will adjust its position with greater precision. On the second pedestal, we place the accelerometer and connect its cable, in this case marked in blue. With the two accelerometers and the tachometer connected, we will now connect everything to the interface.
We connect the yellow wire to the op port on the far right of the interface. Then we connect the accelerometer cable from plane 1 to the left side of the interface. Finally, we connect the accelerometer of plane 2 to the center of the interface and we end up connecting our interface to our tablet or computer. Thanks for watching this video tutorial, don't forget to follow us on our social networks and subscribe to receive notifications of our material. If you have any questions, require information or want to purchase one of our equipment, do not hesitate to contact us. Until next time.